the guard. Isn't this really badass? And that was a, a double just frame. What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and it's my honor and privilege to welcome you all to yet another Tekken Revisited. We are back in Tekken 4 and it's boss Heihachi, the legendary Tekken 4 Heihachi, he has so much ridiculous stuff, and it's just impossible to discuss the character without mentioning his hilariously ridiculous just frames. He has so many of them, they're very over the top, they're very interesting, and honestly, I wish some of them he would still have in Tekken 7. It would make him that more interesting, in my opinion, especially the one that involves his Hell Sweep. You'll see what I'm talking about. But it's just interesting to note that he actually has four, and I'm not joking, he has four versions of the Thunder God Fist, or as it's called in Game Dragon Uppercut. We're gonna take a look at them, but uh, I do want to start by showing you guys the Just Frame Hell Sweep. So he actually is Hell Sweep in Tekken 4. It's much like it is today. Uh, the first hit, uh, should they block it, is of course launch punishable. You know, just like it is today, it's very risky to do Hell Sweeps. Uh, if they don't guard the first hit, he actually has access to a 50-50. You know, you either do the mid, you can get a lot of damage that way, or you just keep doing the, the low sweeps, you know. After the initial sweep, it's a 50-50. But if you block the first hit, as always with hell sweeps, you get killed. He actually get killed. Gets killed. But interestingly, he has just frame hell sweeps in this game, and it works like this. You do the initial hell sweep, and then you can do either the mid or the low, but if you time the, the next four button input uh, on the exact frame he hits, he will actually not block stagger. He, he will go right through the guard. Like so. Isn't that really cool? You see, I got it again. But this time I didn't do a second low sweep. I did the mid option. And I clipped him. I mean, it's really hard to do, which balances bla balances it out, kind of. You could argue it's too strong, but in Tekken 7, where he actually has like pretty damn bad lows, this would be kind of cool, in my opinion. I mean, it would reward people who have really good execution. You can actually do this, if I do the low option, I can actually time uh, the second sweep as well, just frame. So you can do three sweeps in a row, yeah. through the guard. Isn't this really badass? And that was a, a double just frame. So I do the first sweep, and then I time just frame two more sweeps, with every guard yeah. impact. It's very hard to do. Okay, I got it once at least, but uh, isn't that a pretty damn cool just frame? Um, and now we're gonna look at the, the hunting hawk. You know, he actually is up for 3 4 for pressure. There's actually a very lenient just frame here. You'll see it does 34 damage, 17 plus 17. But if you only do up for free, you'll notice that the first kick doesn't do 17 damage, it does 25. That's much more. If you input the second hit, the 4 button, when the initial jump kick connects, it will actually do 25. Like so. There we go. You see, I got it. 42 damage. This one isn't exactly a just frame. I think you have two frames of leniency. There we go, 42. Got it again. Uh, so yeah, pretty nice to have. 42 damage is actually a lot in this game. You know, a normal staple does about 45. So this is pretty good. <laughs> if you get it. There we go. 
and now his electric is super interesting, actually. Uh, he has the normal electric, like so. Doesn't launch, only on counter hit. It's this way with all of the electrics in Tekken 4. Quite interesting, need a counter hit to launch. But his Wind God Fist always launches. And you see how much sparks he has on his Wind God Fist? Hiachi, when he does any type of God Fist in this game, always has sparks around him. Wind God Fist? Electric. But my... Okay. Okay, uh, God. Uh, my apologies. I, di I didn't remember that he has... Okay, so he has four versions of the Thunder God Fist. And he actually has three versions of the Wind God Fist. This is Wind God Fist. And then if you hold... You get Sparks Wind God Fist. And that electric when you do a proper electric input. Uh, you'll note that when I hold... It... Just like an electric, you see? It gets the electric plus frames. So win God Fist, bad on block as you can see, minus 10. Electric, good on block. Win God Fist when you hold, exact same as the electric. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, there's a lot to Ayachi in this game. Very, very interesting details. Now let's go, go, go to the almost most interesting aspect, and it's the, the Thunder God Fist. So he has four of them. This is a normal one. 27 damage. He recovers very slowly from it. No, this is the one you see today. And then there's a delayed Thunder God Fist. Where if you do a crouch dash and you wait a little bit and then you do the Thunder God Fist. It only does 22 damage suddenly. But now he recovers it Im immediately. And it's actually a proper launcher. We can actually get back to combo. Isn't that really awesome? Again, I wish he had this today. Of course, the Omen is a launcher these days. Uh, I think this is a really awesome detail. And now... Uh, <laughs> of course, th those were two versions. And now we have two more. How about I tell you he has a red Omen in this game. You know the Omen from the God Fist in Tekken 7 where you get blue sparks? He has that in this game, but he also has a red version. I, I'm, I tell you, he's so interesting in, in this game. Look towards Heihachi's back. It's, it's kind of hard to see, but do you see those red sparks? I hope you can see them. But, uh, that was the blue omen. Uh, blue omen. God, my execution is good. Blue Omen is actually kind of hard to do in this game. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with the sand in the background, but I just did the Red Omen. And that has the same input as uh, the Omen in Tekken 7. Now I'm doing an omen, a Tekken 7 Omen. Like so. To get the Blue Omen, uh, it's a little bit harder than in Tekken 7. You have to do forward neutral down for two pretty much as quickly as possible. Whereas in Tekken 7, it, and it's the same with with the red omen, you, you can wait quite a bit. And interesting to note is that the red omen does 35 damage, blue omen does 36. But blue omen is safe. The red one is not. That was blue. 36. Okay. So I, I find that to be really, really interesting. 
Main man from the future here. I actually noticed in the editing process that I forgot to mention the fifth variation of his Thunder God Fist. It's pretty much a just frame, not quite, but it's really, really cool and should, of course, not be omitted. I just forgot to put it down into my notes. I, I just forgot about it. But yes, it never ends with just frames with this character in this game. So there's a fifth version of the Thunder God Fist and it involves Thunder God Fist into a blue spark hunting hawk. And it looks really sick. And uh, so what you do is you do, do the delayed Thunder God Fist that I mentioned before. And as you're doing it, you, you never let go of the one button, you hold it. And then with pretty strict timing, you input down and up and he will cancel the Thunder God Fist into a very special step. And then you immediately after inputting up, you go up for 3-4. And you should get a blue spark hunting hawk. It's pretty hard to do. So again, the timing is as soon as the Thunder God Fist hits, that's when I push down, and then when he lands, I tap up, and then immediate Hunting Hawk, but it, it is pretty hard to do. Yeah, I'm gonna, probably gonna drop this a couple of times. There we go. Doesn't that look super sick? So again, that's the fifth variation uh, of, uh, <laughs> of a Thunder God Fist. It's like, man, Tekken 4 has a lot of these like hidden gem just frames and special moves for a lot of the characters. And to be honest, they, they should have kept a couple of these for Tekken 7. Uh, but that was it for the just frames. Now we can take a look at some classic Hayashi stuff. He has his downford 1 and he has his <coughs> legacy downford 1 2, the twin pistons. So full 13 frame launch. Uh, really cool. We have forward four, which actually stuns here on crouch, but gives nothing guarantee. The opponent can block there. Uh, but of course, very, very strong on block. Uh, and then we have the demon uppercut, forward four two. It actually has a, quite a cool combo in this game. You can quite easily, oh, yeah, quite easily. This is Tekken 4. This is actually a crazy combo for Tekken 4 standards. Juggling is so limited in this game. Mostly people will do like electric, this. That's, that's a juggle. Uh, the scaling is so aggressive that it, you don't want to do a lot of hits. You just want to do one quick chunky hit. That does 45, and now I can do something technical like this. 44. Uh, but let's do the cool combo. Oh. Jesus. Oh god. I gotta tell you, in practice, it wasn't that hard. Oh, no! But I am recording for YouTube. You're used to watching this. 64. But, and honestly, this this looks like nothing, uh, looking at it from a Tekken 7 perspective. But in Tekken 4, that's a crazy combo. And we have jab back to great string. Um, back one is a, the Altar Splitter. I love this move, especially for its counter hit impact. It doesn't have that in, uh, in Tekken 7. I really like this move. And back one plus two in, uh, in Tekken 7, you'll do back one plus two, one plus two. Here you can actually hold it. You get a really cool effect for a lot of damage. And make it completely safe on block. Lots of pushback. It's a really cool move. Um, and yeah, uh, down one is a great poke. I think it actually hits grounded as well in this game. Super strong for Oki. And such long range. Uh, and yeah, I, I mean, as you can see, Hachi is actually pretty damn cool in this game. His wall combo is, is kind of decent. 
Uh, that's all guaranteed. It's pretty good. <laughs> no, it's not guaranteed. Remember, this is Tekken 4. You only get one hit on the wall before the opponent can tech roll. Um, but yeah, uh, that's what I wanted to show about Heihachi. The crazy, crazy just frames. I love them. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short breakdown of uh, Tekken 4 boss Heihachi. Wouldn't those hell sweep be cool in Tekken 7? It's not like it's broken. It's so hard to do. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed that video. I've been making Tekken content now on YouTube for 13 years. Time really flies. And I'd love to keep going even further. So if you'd like to support me by leaving a like on this video, subscribing to my channel, or even going to my Patreon, which you can find the link below in the description and become a supporter, I'd really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.